rescue mission number two. Sunday morning on the canal. This is the second boat that we've had to rescue this morning. Someone's had taken people's pegs out. Are you joking? <laughs> what? Those screws already work. Welcome to Cruising Alba. We invite you to join us on our adventure, living off grid and traveling the UK canal network. I'm Miles. And I'm Marina. In the last episode, we visited the largest stone circle in the world and started our biggest boat renovation project yet. In this part of the Canna and Avon Canal, the fuel is delivered by Karen and Ed, a very friendly couple who supplies us every two weeks. We are very grateful there is one thing on the boat we don't need to think about. Keeping warm is a big task in winter. The first thing I do when I wake up for about eight months a year is making a fire. And it's the last thing I fix before going to bed. In winter, it's hard to imagine that in the summer, I don't have to spend any time on all of the stove related tasks. I find looking at the fire mesmerizing. So when I get the fire going in the morning, I catch myself sitting in front of it for a while, also guessing which piece of wood is going to go up in flames next. The fire's looking great. As all boaters, we have a boat drawer on Elba and it's full of crap. It's got so many useless things in it, but also really useful things in it. But we got to the point after a year and a half that we can hardly shut it. So today I am going to do the crazy task of decluttering it and cleaning it out. We actually have two boat drawers on the boat uh, dedicated to loose but important things. Um, so my task today is to actually have a proper clear out and not just take this stuff from here and move it into the other boat drawer. Apart from a very small pile of things that I need to consult with Miles on, the draw is complete. Ta-da! My side, Miles' stuff, boat stuff. We're having a very contrasting month. Alba is more than a spot with a beautiful view. I can't get enough of it. To have electricity on board, we run the engine and store the created power in huge batteries. We only had these batteries for 18 months, but they're now starting to go. To keep our laptops charged, unfortunately, we're having to run the engine a lot more often. 
so the serenity of the landscape is frequently interrupted with the hum. This cold weather inspired me to switch up my cooking routine. I've been craving a hot oven meal for days, so I decided to make a vegan version of shepherd's pie. Good morning. I came out to see the gorgeous sunrise. I used to wake up at 4 in the morning in like May or June to see it, but now it's 7, which is fantastic. It's so red, it's so beautiful. Something happened today that I was kind of expecting to happen at some point. I was cleaning the sink this morning. Um, there was some spinach leaves in the drain. So I took the drain out to flick them out of the window and I let go of the drain. It is now in a canal. So I'm gonna go fetch the magnet and try and get it back out. Couldn't find it. I'm gonna try again later on. I'm going to the post office and a shop today, but I have a lot of work to do. I've got to crack on with the next episode. So instead of walking, I'm gonna take a scooter. The tow path is quite muddy at the beginning, so I'm going to just walk with the scooter until I get to the main road. Some of these packages are for the upcoming boat project, and I'm going to start on it right now. After successfully painting all of the walls in the bathroom white, we are putting up the shelves. Are you joking? <laughs> what? Those screws already work. <laughs> oh, fabulous! See, now I do that. Yeah. I mean, you, or you can take them out. I mean, those. why? I went out to turn the engine on, then looked up and saw the moon. So I'm just standing here on my own, in the dark, staring at the moon and feeling inspired. It's kind of amazing that seeing the moon makes you feel something. It makes me feel something for sure. This also reminded me of something that happened a few days ago. It was around 7.30 in the evening, completely dark, when I noticed a light on the horizon, just above the canal. It was the moonrise. I tried to think if I've ever seen the moonrise in complete darkness before. Living in a city for most of my life, 
with no horizons and too many distractions. I don't think I've ever seen one. Thank you, Wiltshire, for introducing me to such beauty. The next morning, Miles spotted that a nearby boat that was empty for weeks was facing the wrong way. I think someone got no, isn't it? Someone's had a go, haven't they? I mean, you, you don't get two on the two same on night. Two on the same night, it's unusual, isn't it? And the peg's completely out of its socket. Is this even going to reach? We've got a ding here, we can sort it out. Got it? Yeah. Right, let me just hook it. There you go. It's getting back here. Luckily, this one is close by. Tidying up as well. This plank's pretty soft though, isn't it? I don't know, I'm still skeptical. I don't believe that's just come and done. No. Rescue mission number two. Sunday morning on the canal. It's like approaching the Mary Celeste. Oh yeah, they've got one. This is the second boat that we've had to rescue this morning. Someone's taken people's pegs out. This isn't very well pegged. So today we're going to be changing the bathroom floor. It's been a long awaited job. Um, so yeah, just working out what we need to do first. So I think obviously we're going to rip up the original floor and then use it as a template to draw out um, onto our new lino floor. But we're going to make the template a bit bigger so we've got some wiggle room. Then we're going to bring it in here and then I think we'll cut it to the fine shape in here. Yeah, I think let's uh, take it in and have a look is, is the key now. That looks nicer, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like nicer. The next small project we're doing is changing the doorknobs as they just arrived. Pliers. We've got the paint. Just need to paint the door. It's gonna look amazing. A 
I can't believe it took us this long to get this project going. And how quickly a few small changes made a huge difference. We aren't finished with the bathroom yet. We are going to get a new sink and vanity unit, but we will probably need some help with that. Thank you so much for watching. We are especially grateful to those of you who watch us every single week. If you enjoyed this episode, give us a like, support our channel, and if you're new here, subscribe to see where we're taking Alba next. We're thrilled to be supported by our Patreon family, and especially these guys, who go above and beyond to make sure that everyone enjoys these films weekly. Consider joining us on Patreon to watch these episodes early, bonus content, and many other perks. See you in the next one.